We are less than a week away from Star Wars Episode 8, and yes, the hype train is real. Do you really believe your own hype that much? I am the hype! But before we all get our Stormtrooper armor on and head on down to the theater, let's take a quick look at a few fan theories that could play a role in The Last Jedi. As we all know, there were a few lingering questions at the end of The Force Awakens, but the biggest of them all has to be the origins of Rey. Who are her parents? Are they alive? And why did they abandon her? While I do believe we'll get answers to most of these questions in Episode 8, I think that Rey's family lineage has been staring us in the face since the first trailer. What if Rey's family lineage was not a Skywalker or a Solo, but instead a Palpatine? The trailer may have been dropping hints of this right under our noses. The first thing we see in the trailer that kind of points this direction is how Rey's powers scare Luke to death. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. When Rey shows her force abilities, it breaks the ground and cracks like lightning, which terrifies Luke. Luke was always so bold and head and strong in his youth, and he hasn't always been afraid of things. He's always seemingly, you know, fearless. The writers may want you to think he's talking about Kylo Ren's power being what else scared him, but I think that is just to mislead us. The kind of raw power he's referring to is coming from his encounter with the Emperor. Luke wasn't afraid of the Emperor when he first saw him. In fact, he tosses his lightsaber aside. But after the Force Lightning attack, it put the fear of the dark side inside of him. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. <laughs> So it would stand to reason that Rey is in fact a descendant of the Emperor, which would also make more sense as to why we see what happened to be Snoke talking to Rey in the trailer, telling her to fulfill her destiny. Now it wouldn't make much sense if she was a Skywalker or a Solo because her destiny wouldn't be with the dark side. But if she was in fact a Palpatine, her destiny would in fact be with Snoke on the dark side. Not to mention, we just saw the other day a newer trailer showing her with Kylo Ren's lightsaber. So it is entirely possible that once Rey discovers her immense force powers, she is drawn to the dark side and is revealed to be a family member of the Emperor. Which would lead us to our next question. Then what would happen to Kylo? If Rey steps in to be the more powerful Jedi for Snoke, then they will have no need for Kylo anymore and possibly leaving him to leave the First Order entirely. So could Kylo then be forced to return to the light side and train to take down what he himself helped create? Well, again, in the trailer, we see something that may shed some light on this. Chewbacca is in the Falcon's co-pilot seat, and then it pans to a Porg, and the Porg makes a noise, kind of cues, and it cuts away. That may not seem significant, but what they don't show us is who is actually flying the Millennium Falcon. We don't see it in that trailer. In the Force Awakens trailer, it does the same type of thing. We all assumed it would be Han flying the Millennium Falcon because that makes the most sense, but then it turned out to be Rey. It was a really cool reveal in the movie. But this time, there would be no reason to hide who's flying the Millennium Falcon. As we know, Rey could do it, so why would she be hidden? Why wouldn't they just show it? Also, we can assume that she is in fact with Chewie, so that would make perfect sense. It could also be Finn, but again, why would they hide Finn? We already know he can fly, we can do things like that. It could be Luke. He's probably flown the Falcon at some point throughout his life, so it could be a possibility. Um, but why, again, makes no sense why they wouldn't show it. Again, Poe, it could be the same kind of thing, but they would show it. What I actually think here is the one conclusion that makes the most sense here is that Kylo Ren is in fact the one flying the Millennium Falcon in the trailer. And he's left the First Order in an attempt to redeem himself after Rey joins and takes his spot with Snoke. That would be a major plot point. It would certainly you know, need to be hidden in the trailer. They couldn't show that. If any character besides his mother could forgive Ben Solo for what he did to his father, it would be Chewbacca. And a lot of fans wanted to see, you know, Chewie kill Kylo. And that would be kind of fun as well. But that was not what Han would have wanted. He died trying to save his son. You know, he went on that walkway to save his son. And he almost tried the light, you know, the ghost out and the ghost of the dark and all that kind of stuff in the last movie. Uh, but now, Chewie could 
honor his life debt to Han by starting when he finished, bringing Ben Solo home. And what cooler way to do that than in the, you know, the ship that his father piloted, the Millennium Falcon. Freaking awesome. Super amazing. Yeah, I know a lot of this is stretching and it's kind of, you know, imagination here. But could you imagine if this happened? That a Solo, once again, is behind the wheel of the Millennium Falcon. And another Palpatine has risen to power. Which could lead to the event in Episode 9 where the Jedi return and take on a completely new Sith leader. Freaking mind blown. But anyway, that is all I have time for, guys. Let me know what you guys think about these down in the comment section down below. I'd love to know your opinions on these. Do you think this is going to happen? Do you think that Rey will join the dark side? Do you think her parents are a Palpatine or a Skywalker or possibly a Solo? But anyway, like I said, all of what I talk about today is just speculation. But we don't have very long to wait to find out what is the actual canon. Just a week away. God, the hype train, man. It's getting real. I'm re-watching the movies every night, getting ready. Oh, just so, so excited. It's the best time of the year or a new Star Wars is out. But anyway, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys could do me a huge favor, hit that like button. Share this video with other Star Wars fans. Subscribe for more Star Wars theories in your sub boxes daily. Next week is going to be crazy. We're going to be talking about breaking down a ton of stuff about the new movie characters all that kind of fun stuff like i said make sure to hit that subscribe button and in the meantime feel free to check out my previous star wars theories i've done a whole playlist of them so tons of videos there i'll leave a link to that in the end slate and description but until next time guys remember that it's always came back time somewhere so take it easy and peace out Thanks again for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the content on the channel and would like to help out, then check out my brand new Patreon page. Donors get access to early videos and special Patreon-only content as well. Click the link on the screen and check that out.